Prince Charles keeps promise made to Prince Philip weeks before death. Prince Charles fulfilled Prince Philip's dying wish as the Duke of Edinburgh asked to return home to die. Prince Charles visited Prince Philip on his last and longest hospital stay at King Edward VII's hospital in London in February. The Duke of Edinburgh had told his son he wished to die in his own bed. Royal expert Marlene Koenig has since confirmed Philip was brought home to die. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Ms Koenig said, my gut feeling is that the royal family knew this was coming because we've not seen any pictures of the Queen and Philip. You would have thought they would have released something. I think he was brought home to die and it's sad he couldn't reach his 100th birthday. An unnamed source told royal commentator Robert Jobson of the Daily Mail, Philip's final conversation with his son. Mr. Jobson wrote, in an emotional bedside conversation, the Duke advised Prince Charles on caring for the Queen when he was gone and on how Charles should lead the royal family through the years ahead. A royal source told Mr. Jobson that Philip was fully aware he was unlikely to recover after weeks in hospital. They also shared the Duke's final wish to go home. Mr. Jobson wrote, he wanted to die in his own bed, behind the walls of Windsor Castle. Philip's funeral will take place in Windsor today following his death last week aged 99. The Duke's funeral will take place entirely behind the walls of Windsor Castle with members of the public urged not to visit the historic market town to try to watch the proceedings. A maximum of 30 people can attend the funeral because of coronavirus restrictions and social distancing will be in place. It is thought Philip's funeral could attract one of the largest television audiences of the year. The biggest TV audience so far saw 25.1 million people watch Prime Minister Boris Johnson's televised address on January 4 announcing a new national lockdown while 13.9 million viewers tuned in for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with U.S. broadcaster Oprah Winfrey last month. ITV News is to cover the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh with a special program. Prince Philip, a royal funeral will be presented by Tom Bradby and Julie Etchingham from Windsor. Journalist Mary Nightingale will talk to members of the armed forces as they prepare to take part in the funeral procession.